Here we have some variations to the baby rock back. Um, in this rock back variety, we're gonna switch to a single leg. So we start from a crawling position. We pull the hips and the head back until the head's in line with the middle of the feet. Shins are pushing towards vertical. We should get a nice stretch through the low back and through the hamstrings. From there, I can switch this to a single leg exercise by kind of walking my hands towards the right or the left and shifting into that single leg. Once you kind of feel balanced over the leg you've shifted towards, go ahead and unweight the other foot. You can just unweight it and kind of just work on creating some uh, tension and support in the stance leg. Or you can actually rotate the leg. We can pull it to the left, we can pull it behind us to the opposite side, creating a little rotation, which is gonna give you a nice stretch through the uh, external rotators of the hip, the piriformis, um, and some of those other smaller muscles that rotate the hip. You'll feel that load right in the back of the butt, kind of that outside hip socket. Uh, feels really, really nice through there with that rotational reach behind. The other way we can use this is to transition towards a single leg squat. So now in that single leg squat position, um, we can kind of rotate from that hinge, hip pulled back as far as we can, and then squat down into that loading pattern as the knee is allowed to track forward, and we can work on a little bit more of a single leg squat variation that again is very natural. We've engaged that posterior chain, kind of lengthened and, and uh, um, prime that posterior chain to activate, and then we drop down and allow the knee to come forward into a squatting position. Really nice exercise for posterior hip mobility as well as ankle mobility as we transition to a single leg squat. So we think we'll, you'll like that progression quite a bit. Let us know what you think, and we look forward to seeing you on the next video.